Happy holidays from my home to yours. Guys, welcome into my home. And remember what this season is all about. It's about loving family, loving friends, and most importantly, about our Lord and our Savior. So enjoy your holiday. Okay, family. So, babe, just help me tidy up all those bags you just saw there. So, these are for my bedroom to go upstairs. I'm going to do a quick haul with you guys. And then these are all the Christmas stuff. That's, um, and then I have some here and some over there. Then we have the two trees. And then he helped me clear out a lot this table you could not see the table so he helped me clean up all this stuff and um i'm about to do a haul i'm gonna do a haul with you guys this is gonna be it's not gonna be me sitting down it's gonna be me i'm gonna have to figure out like i'm gonna move around because i can't bring all this stuff to me and then have to move them back again but as you can see, no matter how we try to clean up this house, it never used to look clean because it just had, it was like, oh, what the heck? Who dirty this? Look here. Oh my God. Somebody dirty this. I got to clean that. Anyways. So I am not going to do a, like a complete change out for Christmas. Um, I am going to change out the yellow pillows and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do there. I don't want to like redo my house completely for Christmas because Christmas is too short. So that's why, and that's why I did my house like this kind of permanent kind of look so that when you have seasons like this, it's not a lot that I have to change out. I can change out using pillows and you know, so forth. What I am going to do is... Um, down there, I don't have space to put my Christmas tree by my window. So that's what, that was kind of intentional when I placed this here. I was like, yay, now I don't have to put a Christmas tree up anymore. But of course, you know, that's not going to happen have baby Zyla. So what I decided to do is I am going to put up my, I'm going to put two Christmas trees up. Two small ones, two skinny ones. You're going to see the idea. I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put one up right here. And then I'm going to put a garland go around on the top, decorate it, and that will be the Christmas. And then um, I might put, like, two wreaths on that wall. And, of course, I'll do the staircase. So that will be it for Christmas. And then I'll show you how what I'm going to, like, redo my kitchen with. One second. Oh, there we go. I was like, why is this so fuzzy? I'm sorry about that, guys. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to redecorate my kitchen with. And, um, and yeah, to kind of like refresh the kitchen. Okay? So let's do, let me put you guys on a stand. And then let's do, um, a kind of a, a haul, if you would, if you would call it. Okay? Hold on one second. Okay, guys, I want to show you guys some. I've had stuff on this table, just putting, putting stuff on this table. And look, I have damaged my table after having this table for so much years. Look. So, I'm going to have to go find a stain or something to fix that. Because this is, um, this is solid wood. So, I damaged my table. Okay, so this year, what I decided to do was I am going with green. So I feel like even after the holidays, I don't have to rush and remove this green until it's spring. So that's the idea I'm going with, right? So I'm, I have two of these and these are going in my dining room. I mean, in my living room on the sofa, right? I have two. And I ordered these from... I think I ordered these from Etsy. 
I think that's where I ordered these from. So I have this, and then you guys know that I always try to match what's going on in my living room to my bedroom. So I went into Target yesterday just to see if I would see this. And I, I couldn't believe it was the actual color I needed was there. So I got this. This is a throw. And this is for my bed. Again, I got this from Target. And it was like 30 something dollars, I think. It was $28 for it. So I also got this from Target. This has nothing to do with decor, but it was such an awesome buy. I just love this. It's like a, it's a long one, those long, long sweaters that you put on like with some jeans and stuff. So I just love this. Um, I just had to get it. And this was only, it was $40 and it came down to $28. So wait a minute. This is what was $28. So that throw. Okay, the throw is actually $35. And this was $40 and it came down to $28. And it comes in like, it had another color that it came. I think it was like a green. It came like an olive green. Okay, so I got these. That's what I picked up from Target. That's what I really went in there for was that to see they had that throw because I had that particular look in my head. Um, then we went into Bed Bath and Beyond. And don't ask me why they forced me to get these. He's like, you have to get those. You just have to get them. So they're just like house slippers, I guess. So I'll be wearing these for Christmas time, I guess. Cause he was like, you have to get them. And, oh, let me show you what I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. So I got these from Bed Bath & Beyond. They were on sale. They were like $4. I got four of them. I just thought they were so cute. I always wanted to get something like this, but I would never remember to buy them. So, you know, you could drink your coffee, your tea in. So I got four of these from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then we bought some hangers. This piece that I'm about to show you guys, I got it from um, Kirtland's. I got it like probably about two months ago. Like I said, I'm going to be moving you around. It's a different type of haul because I don't want to bring everything into the living room. So I got this from Kirtland's, guys. I didn't know where I was going to put it. But I know it was not staying in the store. <laughs> so they had like a, I think it was a 30 or a 35% off sale. And I got it. So it was originally, it's 90. Ugh, this part is heavy, but this part is not. So originally it's $99. And I think I ended up getting it for about 79 or 69 or something like that. So I have this that I think is just amazing. But I haven't decided where I have I need to like strip my kitchen. I'm gonna strip this table and then I'll decide where I'm gonna put it, right? And I also got this as well. Now, this bowl, I actually wanted a round one, but I couldn't find a round one. I went ahead and I got this one. I kind of regretted it because I want to put it on the kitchenette table, and that's a round table. So this might kind of be feel off on that table. But I did buy it to do a DIY. So these are the stuff to do the DIY. And when I'm, of course, you know, I'm going to film that DIY and show you guys. And, um... So that's why I don't know where it's going to go since it's not round. I needed a round one. That would have been better to put on that table. So I think that's why I haven't rushed and done this DIY yet. But um, I got to figure that out, right? Okay, since we are over here, let me show you guys these beautiful pieces 
that I bought from, I'm going to look for the website. I bought these months ago. I think I bought these from like in September, early September. So I look for the website and I'll definitely link it. But these, I bought these for my kitchen, right? So this one is the, oh, the name of the, the company is Magnolia Designs or something like that. I might be saying it wrong. I will put it on the screen. I'll look for it and make sure I have it all right. Um, she's actually in a group that I'm in. And I wanted to support her. So I got these and they are so nice. So... I want to move this so you guys can see. Ah! So let me show you guys. So this one is for the, 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 um, oh my God, this is so beautiful. You see the hammer look on it? And then it has these. So I bought these. And when we were in Florida in September, no, we was in Florida the end of August. And I had already, I bought, I'm going to show you some stuff that I bought that actually matches with this, right? So I got this. This is the, this is the towel, the um, paper towel holder. So this is the stand for it. We got to put that like that. Like that. And then, I don't know, like I said, I bought these a while ago, so I don't know if they're still in stock. And this is the top. I thought this was so beautiful, and you just drop that in there. So this is the paper towel holder. And, then it comes, and then I bought three of the canisters. So the canister top, this is the top for the canister. And it's actually marble. And then this is, oh no, my battery's about to die. And then this is the um the jar so i have three of these and i think they're three different sizes my battery is about to die and the cover goes on it like that that is like so elegant and like i said i bought it's three sizes so i'm not gonna open all three but this is one or maybe I'll open all three. This is the other size. I think this is the medium size one. No, this is a shorter one. This one is a shorter one. So I've had these stuff just sitting in a box over here in this corner. And completely, almost completely forgot that I had them. So that's the other one. Almost completely forgot I had. You know what? Keep reminding me. I'm going to show you the ones that I got from, from Ross when we was down in Florida. And that's what, because I have those in the pantry, storing in the pantry, that's what made me keep remembering that I have these. But I couldn't remember where they were. I was like, where are they? I was like, when I'm ready, I'm going to find them. Let me get this to open that. Listen, I'm so sick of myself. I am not buying. Like, I'm not going to buy, like, stuff. 
I'm not even going. Like, I don't even go home goods. I only went home goods because I decided after last, after we got back off our last trip, I decided that I was going to um go ahead and do a tree for Baby Zyla. Otherwise, outside of that, I haven't been in home goods till probably the last time I was in home goods is late, late. September. Oh, actually these two. Oh, I think I remember what happened. I think she didn't have when I was ordering them. I think it didn't have the other the next size. So I got two of the same, too small. Yeah. So I ended up getting two small and it only had one. It didn't have the third size. I think it was out of stock or something, right? So you guys see all of this, right? Let me show you what I found out. And these, these costs are pretty penny, but I did get a nice discount, but these costs, and they worth it. Like they're real heavy, they're real elegant. They're worth it, right? So you guys, can you guys, oh, I don't know why I missed the big pumpkin. Oh, and I got this. I bought this from, I think, Home Goods. No, Kirtland's. So I had bought this from Kirtland's, and I was supposed to use it for, um, for like Thanksgiving this time now, and it never got used. It's just been sitting here underneath all this stuff. So let's move that out of your way. And I also got this from Kirtland's too. So I got this from Kirtland's. So when I decorate, I'm gonna decorate with it. I feel like even though this is a pumpkin, I can still decorate with it during the year. So, okay. Now back to what we was talking about, right? Oh, let me show you what else I had gotten. I'm trying to get back to this, but. So. I had gotten this to decorate in my kitchen. I was gonna put like some planters in this and put this on the counter in the kitchen, but then I decided to do my countertops and I never finished decorating my kitchen because my kitchen still is not finished. The, the backsplash needs to still be finished. So I had gotten that. I'm still gonna use that look because it's a year round look. Um, But let me show you what I found now at Ross that matches this whole thing I got going on here. First, this one is the same exact freaking thing. You see it? This one was $7.99. Let me push you guys back because I'm going to let you guys see this stuff. Make sure you see it when I put it in front. So this one was $7.99. And then I think I bought this one at the same time. <laughs> this one was $6.99. So this I'll put like on the stove to put the pot spoon in. Right now I'm using a white one. So I'll switch out to this. So it is. I want you guys to see this stuff as I do it. But I found the bowls. You see that? <laughs> okay, and it was three bowls, different sizes. I picked up every size. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but it just is a set. And why leave it? This one was six ninety nine. This one was $8.99. And the big one was $11.99. I found these at Ross. All of this. These came up to about 40 bucks. These came up to the three bowls came up to $30, and then I have this, 
and this. This was, let's say, eight dollars, and this was, let's say, seven. That's what fifteen dollars. So forty-five dollars for all of this, and all of these is a hundred and something dollars for these. Okay. So don't be sleeping on Ross, guys. That's the moral of this story. Don't you sleep on Ross. <laughs> so that's this. Now, let us move on to some beautiful pieces that we found for the Christmas decoration. Let's push this down here. Okay, guys, so I have these reindeers. Oh, they match with this. I have these reindeers, right? For, I want to say about two years now, I have two of them. So, Babe and I went in, the Babe found them. He said, oh my God, I'm in love with this. Babe, look at this, look at this. And I went over and I was like, oh, oh my God. I want it. <laughs> Look, guys. Look at these beauties. Look at them. So we found these in Home Goods. So they have where this is gold and they have it where it's silver. So Babe wanted the silver one. So he bought two of the silver one, but it only had one gold. And I was like, Dad, I, I need two. I always buy things in pairs or trees. So... I was like, maybe somebody took one up and they didn't put it back where it's supposed to be. So we went walking around and lo and behold, somebody put one down where it didn't belong. And I picked it up quick. I was like, babe, I found it. I found it. Cause me and him was walking through the aisles looking for it. I was like, babe, I found it. I found it. I grabbed it up quick. I put it in the cart. And when I went around the corner, this lady's like, where did you find the other one? I said, where did it belong? I said, I just found this other one here on this shelf where it didn't belong. She said, I put that one there because I couldn't find another one. I was like, oh, you should have go to the table where all of them are at. So she was like, well, I'll take it from you if you don't want it. I was like, no, I want them. <laughs> I was like, we just walk around the store looking for them. I was like, look, that's where he's coming from. I just called him and told him I found him. So, yeah. So then this other lady was telling me that she have them. She bought them probably about five years ago. And they actually come with a sleigh. They have a um a acrylic sleigh that you sit them on and it has some other thing that I was like, oh, for real? She was like, yeah. So they are pricey though. They were $29.99 each. And we bought four. So, but these is beautiful. I'm going to put these, I'm thinking to put them. Pray to God that baby Zala don't touch them, but I'm I'm planning to put them on my coffee table. And the way I'm going to stagger them to make them look like they're running or something. So that's the idea with those, right? Now, the other stuff is my stuff to do my tree. I already showed you. So what, instead of me doing an actual haul with those other stuff, what I'm going to do is when I'm putting the stuff on the tree, I'll come to the camera and I'll show you guys the stuff and I'll show you where I bought them from. But um, I think that's it for the... For the, the, the haul, the, the, the other, the, you know, extra stuff that we bought. Now I just have to um, decorate and um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the trees. I'm going to flock them, um, like open them up and stuff. And, and then that's it. I, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to decorate them, but let's see how I feel. Let's see if I get tired or not. 
Okay, let's do that. So let's do that now. So I'm going to move you guys over there and I have to find somewhere to plug you in. Okay, guys, so like I was saying, I came up with this idea to add Christmas trees to my space. And because I don't have like that a perfect place to put a Christmas tree anymore, you know, normally we'll put them by the window. I didn't want to put a big tree right here in this entryway that separates the living room and the dining room. So, um, at first I was happy, like, yay, I have an excuse. I can say I don't have anywhere to put a tree. <laughs> but for any of you guys that have this same problem and you wish you had somewhere to put a tree, you do have somewhere to put a tree. So this is like a great idea and it's very, um, it's minimal, but it's not minimal. If, if I'm, you know, if you get where I'm coming from with that. So instead of me, yes, I'm using two trees, but they're true. They're two small trees and they're very slender. So the walkway into the dining room to the living room is still a lot of space. And then that view, that open feel is still there. So this is a great idea. Even if you can't put two trees, maybe you can put one, but even dressing up the archway is a beautiful way to just bring that festive feeling to your space so if you're having this issue this is a great idea that you can try and i am i'm loving it i'm loving it and it's gonna be like this for a couple years once i'm in this home as i should say um but yeah i'm love i love it i love it i love it and it's a great idea okay so these trees i got them from at home they i wanted like a seven footer but the seven footer was like about 40 dollars more than these and i was like that don't make no sense to me so my thought was these are 6.5 so my thought with these was i was gonna place them up in a box and make them higher but i realized when i opened them up and i was like nah these are gonna work i thought they would have looked like way shorter than they were and they were not so they actually worked perfect and when i add my top topper to it it's gonna make it even more perfect so um i really really enjoy this so the first thing i had to do was flock it and i hate this part this one flocked really good but the second one gave me a hard hard time to flock it it would i don't know it was very spacey and i was like why um, I didn't do it the same way. Like I didn't put the full tree together. Like I had the first one, I flocked that. Then I added the middle piece and I flocked that. So I wa I'm wondering if that is why it behaved the way it behaved. And it was giving me such a hard time for me to flock it. Um, I, all, that's all I really did this night. Um, I was feeling very winded. Um, that's when I know that I need to get back on my diet. <laughs> I need to get back on my diet. I'm very winded and when I get like this, I know something is up. So yeah, I need to get back on my stuff. Okay. Um, so I just put the two trees in place and that's all I did for the night. And I came back the next day and, um, did some decorating. And of course, like I have to keep cleaning cause this, the, that white stuff is falling all on the floor but that was the type of tree I wanted. I wanted that, um, the tree that had the, the flocking on it, I guess that's what you call that spray thing. So I have to always, you know, keep vacuuming as I go. Guys, this tree right here got me so nervous. I was like, why is the middle of this tree not lighting up? <laughs> but I connected it wrong, so that's why it wasn't lighting up. And I was nervous for a second. I was like, wait, 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 what's going on? What's going on? 
and I realized that I connected it wrong. So <sighs> that was a relief. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the next day. So I'm now going to add the garland to the um, entryway framing. And um, this was a task to put up because I did not want to put any nails in my wall. But I end up had to put nails because I could not find my, um, my command hooks that I know I had. I wanted to stick those up from the night before so that they would have time to adhere good to the wall, but I couldn't find them. And then I used these other ones, which is not the correct ones to use. I had just put them up so they didn't hold. I end up having to use some nail. Um, as you can see, um, I'm not, you know, had no choice. I had to put some nails in there. Um, but this, was annoying to put up because of that and these were six foot long and I knew that they would not reach all the way across but I also know that I was going to put bows on the end and it would hide the gap that would have been there so sometimes you have to improvise I must say guys that I was not feeling good at all. This is Thanksgiving day and I was not feeling good. Um, I had a slight headache and it felt like my pressure was high. And so I was kind of dragging but trying to get it done. I was supposed to go to my friend's house. Every year he invites me and every year I say I'm coming and every year I don't end up going. So I had plans to go this year. I was like, I'm definitely going to his house. And um, Babe and I said we was going. Babe ended up sleeping all day because he had a gig the night before. And I was not feeling good at all. Um, this took me all day to do because I had to keep stopping and lay down to like catch myself. I was feeling dizzy and but I was like, I have to get this done. I have to get it done. So, and I was trying to not let the feeling I was having, like, keep me down. That night, I couldn't sleep because I was just, I don't know, my body was just feeling so funny, you know? And I knew that I needed to take my medication. What I don't normally like to take. I don't like putting medicine in my body. But I had to just go ahead and take the medication so I can feel better. So I did that and I did start to feel a little better, but all of that is telling me that I need to get back on my game, get back to my health um, regimen that I was on to, you know, like I stopped eating meat um, and I'm going to go completely plant-based because what's going on, I need to reverse what's going on and um, yeah, I need to get back on my game. Cause I, I don't know when I when and how I fell off. I think sometimes in life we we kind of do stuff to fix stuff, and then we feel like we have arrived, and we forgot what we was doing, and forgot that this was supposed to have been a lifestyle. So at some point. I forgot that this was a lifestyle for me and I kind of start slacking up. So I definitely have to get back on my game and I'm hearing Babe say the same thing for him. So it's kind of easier for me when um, both of us are doing it because uh, yeah. So you guys see that I added the lights to it and it looks so beautiful. like. After I did that, I didn't want to do nothing else. I was like, this looks fine just like this. <laughs> so, but I knew I still had to go add all these balls and stuff. And I'm like, 
wow I got two trees to do this to and I need to make them look as similar as possible so this is our next task but good thing I have my little chair that I spent a lot of time sitting in the chair to get things done because like when I bend over I was feeling dizzy I wanted to put those balls on the tree but in the end I didn't put them I, I was over it after a point I was like listen all this decorating you're doing you're doing it for baby Zyla and she's gonna come here and she's gonna pull all this stuff off the tree so I had to start thinking like that after a while so that I would stop now on the garland that I have going around that I want to put red on that one since the tree has the green balls I want to put red but at this point that's it because guess who's gonna have to take all this stuff down me me and me alone gonna have to take all this stuff down so I'm watching how much stuff I put up so that it'll be easy for me to take down so this garland all I gotta do is pull them down fold them up and throw them in a, in a bag for next year the trees I have the boxes sitting right there waiting and I just have to take this stuff off of it and put it in the box that's it I'm not doing none of all that extra stuff that I wanted to do my reindeers I just packed them away so that's it Okay guys, so now I'm adding some ribbon to the tree. So I'm using two ribbons. I'm using a white and a green. And I am going to go in a diagonal to around the tree. But instead of going all the way around with the diagonal, I'm gonna go to one side that's gonna be against the garland. And then I'm gonna come back up in a diagonal and then come back down in a diagonal. If you kinda understand what I'm saying. So that's what I'm going to do to fill the tree out and um, after that then I'll start to add in my plaid so if you haven't noticed I am using plaid for my decor um, I don't know plaid is coming back in I'm seeing it a lot in clothing and I wanted to give it a try to see how I like it and I am in love I'm in love with the plaid and I had decided to do the plaid months ago because I had already purchased my throws from Kirtland's and that's why when I decided I wanted to go with the green hunter green type theme so um, everything I'm doing I'm trying to do that plaid because I get I want my home to feel like a home versus it feeling too flashy so I didn't want all of the glitter and stuff that you normally see for Christmas so I wanted to kind of tone it down and the plaid did it and it looks beautiful.
Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him rule. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ, while fields and floods rot hills and plains. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrows grow, no thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow. For as the curse is found, for as the curse is found, for as, for as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace, and may nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love I tell you, Baby Zyla be on the road around this time of year. Everybody wants Baby Zyla. This chair, I need to, um, I need to shampoo this chair. That one cushion, the backrest cushion, needs to shampoo. And one of the cushions on the other, the far side that I don't have covered, 
You can see how baby Zyla was like up there with her shoes or whatever. So I need to shampoo um, those parts. Now these pillows picked up a lot of dust because I had them down on the rug. And I was like, Ooh, okay, I ain't gonna like this. So I have to make sure like they don't get down on the floor because they pick up a lot of lint. So guys, here is my beautiful rug that I told you guys when I purchased this rug. I was very strategic purchasing this rug because of all the different colors it has in it. But the colors are still not loud. So no matter what color I put in my space, it will pull, you know, it will work and it will pull those colors in no matter what color I put in my space. Now let's move on to my coffee table. My coffee table is normally the hardest thing for me to style. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. So this time I decided to use a tray so everything can be feel like it's put together. And the way that I place my um, reindeers, I made it look like one of them is trying to run out of the tray. So that was just a cute little way to do it. And let's move on to this side table. I'm not happy with how this turned out. I feel like I need to add more to it, but I just add two of the reindeers over here as well. And I move that plant to the bottom. Now onto my dining room. Again, what I did is what needed to happen months ago is I just cleared everything off of this dining room. And I found so much scratches on my table. So I definitely have to go and find a stain or something to clean my dining table. I mean, to like fix all those scratches I see on the table. I really messed this table up by dropping everything and their mother on top of this table. So I got these two, I, I will call them candle holders. I got those from, um, uh, I forgot the name of the store. But I bought those about three years ago from, I forgot the name of the store. So um, that piece in the middle is from Kirkland's, like, like I said. And I'm just adding some Christmas sticks to it um, to just bring some festiveness to the table. But I would love to get a plaited runner for the table. I did see one, but it had too much stuff on it at home goods um that's this same day because this is the next day so baby and i went to home goods i did see one at home goods but um it had too much stuff santa claus i don't do all that it just had too much on it it would take away from the elegance that i'm trying to achieve here so that's what i'm gonna add next to this and once i do find a nice one i will definitely get it at it because i do want to get some plaid um towels for the kitchen as well so this is the ribbon that i used on the christmas tree and as you can see when you roll it out how it curls and that's i just had that little piece left so i decided to put it inside of the um inside of this instead of putting a candle i still might get a really tall candle and put in there with all of that but that's what i decided to do and it, it, it looked really cute so it turned out really cute and it helped to tie everything back to what's going on in that little entryway. So next I have to clean my kitchen. I have moved everything from in here over to the kitchen and then from the kitchen they're going to go where they belong. So I always wanted one of these, a nativity scene, and this is Black Friday. So I did go to Kirkland's and I got it at 30% off. I am so happy with it. And guys, again, welcome into my home and happy holidays. Guys, enjoy how my space turned out because I am loving it. I love how it turned out. It is simple. It is just enough to do what I needed to do, which was make baby Zyla say, wow. <laughs> That's exactly what she said when she walked in the house and she ran to the tree and start moving stuff around. I'm like, girl, stop touching. My reindeers are so beautiful. I love them. 
So guys, the next video you will see is me decorating my bedroom and the kitchen. Okay, sorry for this. Um, I haven't uploaded in a while. It's because I've been traveling. And I was just out of it from all that traveling. I do have a video with my traveling, but I don't know if I have enough footage. But I'll see. And if, it, if I feel I have enough footage, I'll post it of my trip. That we just took a week ago so guys i will see you guys on my next upload i don't think i'm gonna wait a whole week to upload it you should get an upload during the week um but yeah i'll see you guys on my next one bye and season greetings to you and your family